Hello and welcome to my new tutorial. I am Art Invader, a digital artist from Berlin. You might already know me from my Instagram or TikTok. There I regularly post short tutorials and animations of my art. If you are interested, feel free to check it out and leave some likes or a follow. That would help me a lot so that I can continue to create cool tutorials for you. I link you to my profiles in the caption. Today I'll show you how to create this cool tennis ball and barbed wire cover art animation. The bonus parts for Adobe After Effects will be discontinued. If you are still interested, you can find the files on my Patreon. Let's go Art Invaders, we start with the render settings. There you can select all the important things, such as the format. To do this, press the cogwheel icon at the top. Under Render, select Physical. Then select a format of your choice. I use 1080 by 1080 pixels, the standard Instagram post format. Then select all frames for frame range, as we are creating an animation. That's it, now let's move on to the creation of the 3D objects. First we create the barbed wire, to be exact first the spines. To do this, first select a helix spline from the bar at the top. Set the start and end radius to 20 centimeters. For height select 50 centimeters. In addition, we set subdivision to 30. Select the helix and right click on it and select current state object. Now we can edit the spline further. Select the item selection on the left side. Select the endpoint and go to the 4 page view. In the front view, move the point diagonally outwards. Repeat this for the second endpoint and switch back to the 3D view. Then select a circle spline and set the radius to 6 cm. Now we make a 3D object out of the splines. To do this, we select the sweep at the top of the bar and place the splines below it. Then we click on the sweep and go to the cap menu item. For start and end we remove the hook. Now change to the menu item object and go to the category details. We now use the scale curve. Insert another point at 2.5 and 6.5. To do this, hold down the command key and click on it with the mouse. Then move the endpoints all the way down. Now you can adjust the endpoints again so that the spines correspond to your length. Now we scale the spines closer together. To do this, we turn off the sweep and scale the helix closer together. Now we can turn the sweep on again. We now come to the wire. Go to the splines and select end side and scale it to a radius of 20 centimeters. Duplicate it twice and go back to the front view. There you move the shapes as follows. When you have finished, select all of them and make a current state object out of them. Then press connect plus delete. Now select the object and go to coordinates. There you scale all three values to 0.074. Now select a circle spline with a radius of 72. Then look for a sweep here too and place the splines under it. Now go to the menu item caps and select start and end and remove the hooks. Now go to the menu item object and go to end rotation. There you enter 4000. Now we add a subdivision surface. Now we call one layer spike in the other wire. Now we project the spikes onto the wire. For this we select a cloner and place the spike sweep under it. Now we go to the cloner and change the mode so object. Under object we drag the circle spline from the sweep. Now we go to transform and set scale x, y and z to 0 0.25. For rotation B we enter 150, as no spines should point inwards because that is where the tennis ball is. Now we select the cloner and search for random. 
there we remove the check market position and set a check market rotation. For rotation B we set 50. As the name suggests, the effector rotates the spines so that they do not all point in the same direction. As you can see, the wire is too thin. Therefore we increase the scale value so that the wire fits the spike. In this case it would be 0.14. Now we create the ball. Choose a ball with a radius of 65 cm and 50 segments. To make the ball into a tennis ball we have to work with bump maps. I link them to you below in the caption. Now create an L object and insert all the components of the barbed wire there. Now you can duplicate the layer and rearrange it again. At the end we add some spikes. For this we select cone in the bar at the top, the bottom radius is 5 cm and height 60 cm. Then we select a cloner and place the cone underneath it. At cloner we select object and insert the sphere there, so that the spikes are projected on the surface. Now we go to the sub item transform and select rotation. P270 degrees. If we now go back to the menu item object, we can change the order under seed. I also increase the count to 40 pieces. Now let's move on to the materials and textures. From here on you can customize your artwork by using other environment textures, materials, bump maps and colors or by adding additional objects. You can also leave it the way I do it. Feel free to send me your questions or final results on Instagram. I will answer them all as soon as possible or repost your artwork as a thank you. Create a new material and drag and drop the material onto the barbed wire. Opens the material. We only need the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and then add and insert a new Beckman layer. Set the value for roughness to 10 and for specular strength to 100. The material is ready. Now select sky in the bar at the top. So that we can see something, we have to create a new material here as well. Drag and drop the material onto the sky. Here we only need the luminance channel. Under texture you can insert a picture of your choice. I choose a HDRI folder. Now we create the material for the tennis ball. Create a new material and drag and drop the material on the tennis ball. For this we need the color, reflectance and bump channel. Add color add the colored image under texture. Under the reflectance channel. There you press the button remove and afterwards add and insert a new Beckman layer. Set the value for roughness to 40 and for specular strength to 0. Set the whole layer to 10%. Now go to the bump channel and set the bump map under texture. At strength we choose 10%. Now we create the hair on the tennis ball. For this you have to select the tennis ball. Go to the top bar to simulate, then to hair object and then add hair. If you don't see the option, you have to switch to the standard mode in the upper right corner. Before we continue with the editing, I would advise you to save the file. Now go to the hair tag. In the menu hairs choose 200,000 for count and 12 for segments. So that the hairs are only on the yellow surface we have to add an alpha mask. To do this go to the menu growth and add the folder at density. Set the levels to 2, because we only have 2 colors on the folder. We repeat this in the menu item guides under growth and then density. Here you also set the count to 1202, segments to 10 and length to 4 cm. Finally, we go to forces and enter 0 for gravity so that the hair is not animated and pulled downwards. Now we create the typical hair structure. For this we go to the material that has been created automatically. We set a check mark at color. There we create a gradient with the colors number 313,300 and hash D9FFOO. Then we set a check mark at specular and at thickness. 
Under thickness root and tip we select 0.1. We also set a check mark at frizz. There we set all values to 100%. Finally we set a check mark at kink and set the kink value to 100%. I don't know why the hair is not shown in the preview. But here is a talked picture how it should look like now. At Patreon you can find the complete project file with all textures I used for the project. There you can also support me financially as an artist. All the money helps me spend more time on creating tutorials and cool things for you. You have the choice between three packages. For 5 euro per month you have access to the project files. For 8 euro per month you get the benefits of the first package plus exclusive access to my Adobe After Effects files. There I edit all animations additionally. For 12 euro per month you get the advantages of the other packages plus earlier access to my tutorials. I hope there is something for you and thanks for the support art invaders. Now we come to the animation of the barbed wire. Increase the animation time to 5 seconds. For this we first go to the sweep under the menu item object. We put the slider at the beginning of the animation, set end growth to 0 and set a keyframe. Then we put the slider at the end of the animation and set end growth to 100 and set a keyframe. We repeat this for the second sweep. Now we animate the spikes of the barbed wire. For this we first go to the cloner under the menu item object. We set the slider to the beginning of the animation, set end to zero and set a keyframe. Then we put the slider at the end of the animation and set end to 100 and set a keyframe. We repeat this for the second cloner. At the end we animate the other spikes. For this we use the respective cloner and go to the menu transform. We set the slider to the beginning of the animation, set scale Y to 0 and set a keyframe. Then we put the slider at the end of the animation and set scale Y to 1 and set a keyframe. At the end we set a tarp as background. You can change the color by creating a new material and using only the color channel. There you can choose a color of your choice. That's it, well done art invaders. If you liked the video, Please leave a like. Do you have any theme suggestions or want to know how other artists created their animation? Feel free to send me a message with the theme or example pictures on Instagram or TikTok. I will make a tutorial about it. Do you have any questions or do you want to tell me something? Write it in the comments. I am glad about every support. Thank you. To make sure you don't miss a new tutorial from me, please subscribe to the channel. I try to upload one to two tutorials per week. See you in the next tutorial.